Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Welcome again to tonight's Words of Pearls. Today's Words of Pearls is entitled That I May See. I'm having that same uh, feedback, but um, hopefully it will stop. So anyway, That I May See. Uh, I was just reading the Word of God and... Um, in, in uh, the book of Job, it tells us there's a line that says, teach me to see what I still don't see. And that is so, so important. Uh, you know, Crystal just sent me um, the scripture, Psalm 119 and verse 18 says, open my eyes so I can see what you show me of your miracle wonders. You know, uh, when you and then it continues in the uh, message version to say, I'm a stranger in these parts, give me clear directions. And you know, when, whenever we are, um, we, you know, whenever we're traveling, I don't know about you, but uh, I, I, you know, yesterday I was on the road for quite a bit of time. And I had to get to a few places and some places I knew how to get to others. I didn't quite know how, well, one place in particular, I didn't know, no, a couple of places. I didn't know how to get there. I'd, sorry about that. And I not have uh, the GPS and, you know, I thought about it and I'm like, goodness, um, you know, I really just, wouldn't have gotten to where I was going had I not had the GPS. And I was also, I had time constraints. You know, there was, I had a certain amount of time I needed to get to a certain place. Uh, however, you know, there was a lot to cover. So having the GPS was very helpful, you know, in what I couldn't see in where there was traffic, where there were um, new constructs, you know, where there was construction going on in the streets. Uh, what I didn't know, the GPS, the, the global positioning system, knew where, you know, where to avoid the traffic, where to avoid uh, the, the, the new construction that's going on. And so I was truly grateful for that. And, but it also um, made me see something uh, last week. I was reading the word of God and I, I got a title, the message that I'm supposed to bring, you know, next week. But can I tell you, the Lord had to, it says, teach me to see what I still don't see. My eyes were closed. It, the, the topic is about the Holy Spirit, actually. But can I tell you, my eyes were so close to this point. And, you know, I know many of you may have gotten it before me, but this is the first time I was seeing the Holy Spirit that way. And when the Lord said it to me, I was actually laying in bed. I was laying in bed when he said it to me. I was, I had gone to my bed early. So I woke up early. You know, when you go to your bed early and you wake up, it's three in the morning and you know, you've prayed and then you're laying there and you're like, whoa, I'm still awake. <laughs> and so somewhere between, you know, um, I got the topic that I got and um, the Lord started ministering to me. And I was like, wow, I never saw that. So until the Holy Spirit opens our eyes to the truth of God, you know, you know, we're taught to see what we still don't know, you know, and so we need God to really open our eyes to see what, you know, he shows us of his miracle wonders. And this morning, a very good friend of mine and I, Andrea, hey, Andrea, girl, I love this girl. She's like, oh my goodness. Our spirits connected so many years ago at Baruch when we were in college, you know, and um, such a good, kind soul. I love her, the sister of mine that the Lord blessed me with, you know. Um, and we were talking just about how truly marvelous God is and, you know, how grateful she is for the Lord opening her eyes to see him 
in the miracles that surround us each day because we don't think of it that way. But when you see, and she talked about the deadness of the trees in the winter, and then they, the, the, the leaves get so lush when the spring comes and they're so full of life. And sometimes they're even, you know, more lush than before. You know, when you think about it, like there are miracles happening around us on a daily basis. And point in fact, and I will post this picture, well, it'll probably be on my Facebook page. Um, but um, I, I, I was going out one morning and I, I actually, I thought that's what I was going to do the topic on, but I, but I forgot about it till just, just this moment, just this moment. I saw a flower outside and I had to take a picture. And I was like, this is like the perfect flower amidst, we, we just had a cold spell. And the other plants around it were shriveled the leaves on the trees are shriveled. Many have fallen off already. You know, we know we're in the fall season, but here was this perfect flower that endured the harshness of the inclement weather. And, you know, so that was just, I thought, wow, how enduring is this? Like, that's a miracle that the Lord had left there for me, well, it could be for anybody else, but I'm just going to say it's for me because it was, I, I was going out and it's been some long days and long nights because I get home late after being out there. And, you know, I had started the journey and I had to wake up early. So, and believe me, I'd done a lot by that time. And I was running out and going to the car. And there was this flower just encouraging me to say, hey, go on. Your day is going to be good. You have the energy and the strength because greater is he that is within you than he that is in the world. And so that's what that flower said to me, believe it or not. And I thought, wow, there is greater. And only if when our eyes are opened so that we can see the true mir miraculous wonders that God places around us every day. I was, uh, there was another day when, you know, I, um, I had gotten some like disturbing news, not bad news, but you know, when, when folks, there's some stuff going on back home and, you know, I, I was going down the road and I'm just walking and I'm saying, you know, Lord, really, you know, sometimes, humankind can really disappoint you, right? And, you know, you're like, okay, about to give up on humanity and <laughs> believe it or not, listen, I'm walking and someone just smiles so beautifully at me. And it was a smile behind a mask, but you knew it was a beautiful smile and said, hey, and I said, hey, back. And that was God's way or a God wink or a aha God moment, whichever one you want to call it. Then there was another time that uh, I was feeling a little bit, you know, just, you know, sometimes when, when our bodies get tired, right? And you just like, oh, golly, when you think about the scope of everything that you have to do, the commitments you have to fulfill, and so, you know, in that moment, and I'm walking and I'm saying, okay, but God, we, we could do this. We could do this. And he's like, yes, we can. Yes, we can. And we will, because yes. Uh, and someone saw me and touched me and said, hey, how are you? And you don't really find that these days. You know, it was a God moment and a how good moment a God winks moment. Uh, I saw a movie called God winks. Uh, it's on Hallmark. I'm sure most of you have seen it. Well, some people have seen it, but anyway. Uh, and so, you know, I thought, wow, thank you, Lord. And I smiled. And on each of the, you know, every time I experience something like this, I smile and I said, thank you, Lord, for that reminder. Thank you that you're with me. So, 
I just want to say and encourage you, if you're going through a difficult moment, if you're tired, overwhelmed by everything that is happening, by the pandemic, by, you know, uncertainties, just remember, you can ask the Lord, teach me to see what I don't see or open my eyes so I can see what you show me of your miraculous wonders. So, you know, may the Lord, I pray that the Lord will open your eyes that you may see the truth that you need to see because in these times that we're living, we really need to see the truth. We need to know what's false, what's truth, from what's fiction, what's false, you know, or what's real. We need to know how else can we continue with our lives and thrive. And, and believe me, God wants us to thrive. You know, he's been really, really, it's just staying with me so, so strongly. You know, and I, as I told you before, I showed you the purple plant that got crushed. And, you know, I'll just... As I said, he's been showing me, and, and I have many, I have, I have quite a few flowers that have, have, have shown up on days. And I was like, wait, you weren't there before. But yes, here it is, smiling so beautifully because God is amazing. And he allows miracles to happen around us every day on a daily basis, moment by moment. And we never sometimes stop to really see that that was a miracle from God. But today, I pray that your eyes may be open, that you may see his wonderful miracles that he's doing around you. Why? Because he loves you so much. Not because of anything that you've done to deserve it, but because of his great love for you. See, we can't be too bad and we can't be too good that stops him from loving us. We only hinder the blessings from coming into our lives. When we can't see, we're not quite receiving them the way we ought to. So may the eyes of your understanding may, may be enlightened. May your eyes be open to see the truth of God and so that you can experience the love of God during these times. And as we're on the cusp of celebrating for some Christmas, I pray that more than anything, you know how much you're truly loved. Okay, so I pray that that's what you see going into this week, no matter what's happening, no matter what comes, whether it's in the news or it's in your life, know that you're loved, love, 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 love. I love you a whole lot. Wait, a whole lot. And God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit loves us all more than any love we can ever experience because why he loves us that's it nothing to be gained nothing at all so go on into this week and enjoy yourselves okay take care blessings <laughs>